Hi, my name is Gideon, and I'm going to show you Bit, a component hub we've created to make software composition easy. As software developers, we learn early on that more modular code is better code. Web and UI components, node modules, and even utility functions are the building blocks of our projects and applications. Yet, we still don't have an effective way to discover, share, and develop our components to build new software faster. Instead, we spend a lot of time copying and pasting code or installing cumbersome libraries just to gain access to a few APIs. Shouldn't it be easier? Well, Bit turns your components and APIs into reusable building blocks, which you can easily share, discover, and use across all your projects and applications. Your team can organize and share components, use them to build new things, suggest updates, and stay in sync. Let's see how it works. So let's say I'm working on a team that's developing a few different movie applications using React. Here's the app I'm working on, where every piece of the interface is a React component. Now, I'd love to be able to share these components with my team so we can all use them across our apps. This is typically a pretty arduous process. So currently, my team's components are all internal to their specific applications, just like this one. Let's use Bit to make all of these components available for any of my team members to discover and use in their projects. I'll start by isolating and sharing the components from the app I'm working on. I'll first initialize Bit in my repository with the bit init command. Then, I can use a simple glob pattern to track every component in my project. I'll specify a namespace and the naming convention I used for my test files. This isn't mandatory, but letting Bit test each of our components helps my team learn about their status and how they work. I've also added pre-made environments to build and test my components. You can learn more about this in the docs. Next, I want to isolate the components from my project and share it to a remote collection so that they can be used in other projects too. You can think of this collection as a component playlist which organizes my components and makes them individually discoverable and available to use. Collections can be created on any server, but to make things simple, I'll create one on bit.dev, Bit's community hub. In the hub, you can share components with your team and discover components shared by the community around the world. I'll name my collection Movie Apps and make it private for now. Later, I'll share it with my team so that they can add their own components. Next, I'll version the components bit tracked in my project. Tagging components automatically resolves all dependencies and versions the current component state. Finally, I can share the components to the movie app collection that I just created. And just like that, the components are available to my team and can be used in all of our projects. In addition to UI components like this, Bit also works great with any other type of JavaScript component or module. Let me share some quick examples. Here are the components from the popular React Foundation library, made available with Bit. And here are some utility functions shared from the date functions utility library. Each of them can be individually used without installing the whole library. Now, let's go back to my movie app collection and look at the hero component. Bit provides an interactive playground to help me learn how a component functions and decide if I want to use it. I can add and save examples, play with the component, and see how it works. Bit also presents the documentation for every component extracted from the code itself. This helps me learn how to use the component and saves me time writing and reading long docs. Remember adding test files? Well, Bit tested each of my components in isolation, and the results are presented here in the component page. We can instantly decide if the component is working and ready to go. I can also explore the component's source code and learn about its dependencies, but let's leave that for another time. Now, let's say I have a new app that I'm working on, and I'd like to use some of these components in my new app as well. As you can see, components shared with Bit can be installed using your favorite package managers like NPM and Yarn, or imported to your project using Bit itself. Let's install the Hero component using Yarn. And just like that, it's ready to use. Now I can import the component into this project and render it. Let's see how it looks. So it looks good, but I just noticed that the primary styles aren't showing up on the Watch Now button. To make changes to this component, I can use Bit to bring the component's source code into my new project and make the changes I need. Let's use the bit import command to import the component's source code. Bit automatically linked all necessary dependencies and made sure to replace my node module with a symbolic link so I won't have to change my source code. Now we can check out the code and see why the styles aren't showing. So here, it looks like it was caused by a misspelled property. Great, all fixed. Now if I run bit status, I can see that the component has been modified and is ready to be tagged with a new version. 
I'll tag the bug fix and export the hero component back to the collection. By passing the eject flag, Bit removes the component from my repository and returns the component to be a dependency of my project. And there we go. Now the fixed version is available to my team to use in their apps. Now, let's go back to our original movie app project. Let's say I've made some local changes to the hero component within this project, and now I want to merge in the changes from the other project. I can use the bit import command to fetch the remote changes, and then the bit checkout command to automatically merge with the latest version. And that's it. I've modified the component and it's ready to go. Making changes from different projects creates a faster, distributed workflow for my team to collaborate and build our product together. Bit can also be extended to integrate with your favorite tools so you can build, test, and play with your components in any way you like. To get started, simply install Bit and share your first components. You can also explore Bit's hub and discover components shared by developers in the community around the world. To learn more, you can read through the documentation or visit the project on GitHub. Hope you liked the video, and thanks for watching.